Website user data has long been a treasure trove of marketers. They count on it every day to make their marketing more impactful. But a user journey isn't confined to just a website. Users could land on the website through ads, browse the products and complete their purchases in the mobile app instead of the website. So how to collect, unify and use such data? Hi, I'm Pooja, representing Tatvik Analytics, a leading MarTech company and premium Google partner, helping you optimize your marketing efficiencies with single point analytics, marketing and technology capabilities. Let's first understand what exactly is Google Analytics for. In 2020, Google introduced the latest version of its analytics tool, Google Analytics 4. GA4. It is the answer to the evolving tech, user behavior and regulation policies. It will provide marketers with richer contextual data while at the same time protecting users' privacy. It is powered by machine learning capabilities, an intelligent event-based data model and flexible reporting. It is set to transform the way marketers look at and use website and app data. But what are the top benefits? In order to get the most out of Google Analytics 4, you must unlearn what you know, then get comfortable with the new features. We will discuss key differences. First is measurement models. The biggest difference between UA and GA4 is their data models. UA broadly measures on page views and sessions. GA4, on the other hand, measures are based on events. So each hit counts as an event and may or may not contain parameters. Universal Analytics identifies your property with a tracking ID like this. Google Analytics 4 identifies your properties with a measurement ID like this. Free BigQuery connection. Previously parked exclusively for GA360 customers, BigQuery connection is now free with GA4. For those unfamiliar with BigQuery, it basically simplifies data analysis by querying complex data sets. By doing away with the issue of sampling from Google Analytics, BigQuery makes data digestible for you. Google Analytics 4 allows you to link BigQuery directly. Interestingly, quite a few clients have taken this up a notch by imbibing real-time data practices for contextual experiences. Here, comparison highlights. Logical next step, migration. Sooner than later, Google Analytics 4 will become the new standard of analytics. It's only logical to start migrating your tracking to Google Analytics 4 from Universal Analytics. We know that migrating from UA to GA4 is a strategic decision for your organization. What we suggest is make a plan and launch a pilot project, which includes a few events you want to track and build a user journey for reporting purposes and insights. Create tracking of events and sessions in your UA property and manually migrate or transfer to GA4. Here we can help you out. As mentioned earlier, you can use our tool UA to GA4 migration or you can simply migrate your existing UA events to GA4. Start parallel tracking and observe the reporting of both. Note the points in which you would get benefits on GA4 and explore more features and reporting in GA4. If you arrive at the decision to migrate completely to GA4, then start doing this and we are happy to help hello at tatvik.com you with your full migration GA4. We still suggest that you do not shut down UA property but start in parallel tracking. We can also help with the new signups. You can keep browsing more of our resources to make an informed decision. Happy to help for Tatvik Analytics. Pooja Jee.